Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking two stocks, Mercado Libre, PDD. They're, we're putting them head to head. We're gonna see who comes out on top as the best buy today. Now guys, I'll give you a little bit of insight. I own one of these stocks, but when I put them head to head, I'm not sure if the stock that I own is the better buy today. So stay tuned, we're gonna jump into it. All right, guys, so here we go. Mercado Libre, PDD, head to head. Let's see who comes out on top. First of all, Mercado Libre, they're a leading e commerce platform in Latin America. PDD is the third largest e commerce player in China. All right, so both companies have experienced significant stock growth since their IPO. Mercado Libre by far blows everything out of the water when it comes to the increase, but it may not be the best buy today. They IPO'd, Mercado Libre IPO'd in 2007, and they've increased a whopping 11,370% since that time. They've gone from $18 a share to $2,037 a share. Now, PDD IPO'd in 2018, which is like 11 years later, right? And they've increased a huge 610% just since 2018. They've gone from $19 a share to $135 a share. Now guys, both companies have impressed investors with the rapid growth, expanding ecosystems, and rising profits. So let's look at some of the key differences between the two companies. Mercado Libre operates in 18 Latin American countries. Their key markets are Brazil, Mexico, Argentina. They were initially a third party marketplace. Now they operate a first party marketplace as well. And they've built their own logistics network and fintech platform Mercado Pago with additional financial services. Now PDD, on the other hand, they operate primarily in China. They phased out their first party services back in 2021, focusing on third party marketplaces and they've operated an online agricultural platform connecting farmers directly with consumers. Oh, also, they own Timu, which is a cross-border marketplace that links Chinese sellers with international buyers and has gone viral here in the US. All right, now let's look at both, uh, Mer uh, look at both Mercado Libre, PDD, Let's look at their growth trajectories because I know that y'all are um, very interested in that. And then I wanna look at their profitability because that's gonna be huge for which stock is gonna come out on top. So uh, Mercado Libre between 2018 and 2023, 2023, their revenue grew at a compound annual growth rate. Guys, this is crazy, 59% in USD terms. They accelerated the growth in 2020 to 2021 during the pandemic-driven e-commerce and digital payment surge. Analysts are forecasting 27% compound annual growth rate in revenue from 2023 to 2026. Okay, so keep that in mind, 27% compound annual growth rate. The growth is gonna be driven by expansion into new regions, strong FinTech ecosystem. They've got 50 million plus monthly active users. Okay, now PDD, let's look at their numbers. From 2018 to 2023, their revenue grew at a compound annual growth rate of 80% in RMB terms, 79% in USD terms, though it's been a little bit more volatile. Specifically, 20, 2019 to 2020, there was a surge in revenue from social driven discounting in China's lower tier cities and then growth slowed during 2021 to 2022 due to COVID-19 lockdowns, macroeconomic headwinds in China. Now, 2023, last year, growth rebounded with China's economic recovery, and analysts are now forecasting a 36% compound annual growth rate in revenue from 2023 to 2026, and that is in RMB terms. So. Their growth is gonna be fueled by market share gains against Alibaba, JD.com, and their continued agricultural dominance and Timu's global expansion, especially here in the US. All right, let's talk about profitability, guys. 
then we'll talk about valuation, and then I'll give you the final call on which one I think is the better company. So profitability, Mercado Libre, they became profitable in 2021. Their net income grew at a compound annual growth rate of 244% from 2021 to 2023 in USD terms, and the profit growth has, dr has been driven by economies of scale, lower logistics, and payment processing costs. PDD, on the other hand, became profitable in 2021 after discontinuing low margin first party services and their net income grew at a compound annual growth rate of 178% from 2021 to 2023 in RMB terms. Now, when we look at the future profit growth, if we look over the next few years, 2023 to 2026, analysts are expecting that Mercado Libre their net income will grow at a compound annual growth rate of 49%. Keep that in your mind, 49% for Mercado Libre. For PDD, analysts expect net income to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 42%, just a little bit lower than Mercado Libre. Uh, but then we've got to look at valuations, guys. This is huge. Mercado Libre right now trades at 42 times next year's earnings. PDD trades at 10 times next year's earnings. That's huge. See how like, okay, so Mercado Libre, yeah, their growth is expected to be a little bit higher when it comes to profit, but look at PDD's valuation. I mean, it's 10X compared to Mercado Libre's 42X. So when we look at Mercado Libre specifically, despite their recent gains, they've had a 60% rally in the past 12 months, still considered reasonably valued relative to its growth potential, okay? But PDD, the valuation is way lower, trading at 10x earnings. And I think that's due to two big things. First of all, there's been some recent warnings of a potential near-term slowdown and rising expenses. And number two, there's been a lot of ongoing geo geopolitical tensions between the United States and China, which, are, which has kept a lot of investors cautious about PDD. So let's put it all together. What is the call? Who wins? What's the better stock buy right now? Well, I'll tell you, first of all, I own Mercado Libre, all right? But I have to acknowledge that the recent rally may suggest a breather is due because, man, is it up there right now? And I'm very happy as an investor in Mercado Libre because I got in, got my profit, all right? I'm holding for now. PDD, though it's a lot more volatile, is way cheaper and it may offer a better uh, better upside for investors that are willing to handle some short-term risks. So, final recommendation, which one is better? PDD may be a better choice, guys, if you're a risk-tolerant investor that's looking for a high-growth e-commerce exposure. That's, that's what I'm gonna say today, PDD. Even though I own Mercado Libre, looking at it today, PDD is probably the better buy. Okay guys, now if you wanna know what stocks I'm buying every single week, subscribe to the channel because I make a video usually posted on Monday. Right now I'm posting them Monday night, all right? Every Monday I'm posting a video telling you what stock I bought that week. So subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. Like this video guys if you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel. I appreciate all the support. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking. If you have a question, ask it. If you have an opinion, hit me up guys. If you hate both of these stocks, that's fine. Let me know in the comments what you hate about them. All right, guys. I appreciate y'all. I will see you again tomorrow with another video. Peace.